Black holes are mysterious and rather complex space objects. Their fascinating parameters have been flummoxing us for many years. The sheer existence of black holes used to be just a hypothesis for such a long while that many scientists didn't used to believe they were real. Even though there is a great number of these objects pinpointed in the vast cosmos by now, they still harbor mysteries waiting to be resolved. And every day brings us a new portion of data revealing more of what these stupefying objects are like. But before that, I'd like to remind you that we're also in Telegram. There's a lot of exciting stuff to check out about space and our planet, like some footage, time-lapse films and photos, including the latest ones from the Perseverance probe. The link is in this video's description. And now, back to the story. On the 21st of May 2019, scientists were lucky to detect an incredible phenomenon. A collision of two black holes. It wasn't the first event of this kind detected by the Earth-based telescopes, but it was definitely the first time two objects this big were being observed while merging. The event took place less than 7 billion light-years away from the Earth. The black hole, designation GW190521, was a binary one that is made up of two components. The mass of one was estimated to be around 85 solar masses and the mass of the second about 66 solar masses. The merging produced a massive black hole as heavy as about 142 times our Sun. And the stark difference between the object's masses triggered a super powerful gravitational wave. Just imagine, nine stars like our Sun transformed into energy. This disturbance was registered by the LIGO observatory detectors. It had taken the wave seven billion years to reach our Earth, and it lasted just one-tenth of a second. However, this extremely short wave provided no shortage of valuable information about the universe around us. So what is a black hole? In today's science, the term is used to refer to an area of space-time whose gravitational pull is so overwhelmingly powerful that even light is incapable of breaking free from there, let alone material objects. A mathematical description of these space objects is rather complex. The space-time continuum near a black hole is curved to such a point that it acquires a set of parameters completely new to us. Black holes used to remain a mathematical abstraction for a long time. Then they got the status of hypothetical celestial objects. The searching process was not easy, as it is impossible to directly observe an object that doesn't emit anything at all, including light. The only thing that allows us to guess the whereabouts of black holes in the vast expanses of space are peculiar effects created by their impressive masses, such as the effects of accretion disks and gravitational lensing. Even though the first models of black holes were made back in 1784 by the British astronomer and scientist John Mitchell, a celestial object of this kind was experimentally discovered only as recently as in the early 1970s. It was an X-ray radiation source in the Cygnus constellation, which is now known as X1. The list of confirmed black holes today numbers over a thousand objects. And the 10th of April 2019 was the day when the first photo of a supermassive black hole was made available to the general public. Thus, black holes stopped being purely hypothetical structures and were proven to be fully legitimate space dwellers. Just like any other space objects, black holes can be binary, like the one we've seen earlier in the video. In this case, they orbit around a common mass center, gradually building up their spinning rate and coming closer together. Eventually, the two objects collide and merge to form a single object. It is heavier than either of the two parents, as it were, but lighter than the masses of both original black holes together. The difference in their masses transforms itself into a gravitational energy impulse that disturbs the space around the new space object. A system made up of two black holes may also originate as a result of two galaxies colliding, provided the cores of these are supermassive black holes. In this case, 
The mass of this binary system will be enormous and the amounts of energy released on collision are really mind-boggling. A good example of such system is 3C75 in the middle of the dumbbell galaxy NGC 1128-1. The galaxy lies in the Abel 400 galaxy cluster, approximately 300 million light-years away from the Sun. Its peculiar shape is thought to have formed as a result of two elliptical galaxies merging, with a massive black hole in the middle of both. Another system of this kind is the center of the galaxy NGC 6240, located 400 million light-years away from the Sun. It was found to flaunt even three supermassive black holes. Two of them with a mass total of around a billion solar masses orbit around a common mass center around 645 light-years away from each other. It is notable that the mass of one of the components is approximately nine times that of the other. The third black hole lies about 3,000 light-years away from the common mass center and is as heavy as 240 to 420 million solar masses. This unusual system is the closest one to our Earth among those made up of three or more supermassive black holes. One more object of this variety is the center of the spiral galaxy NGC 3758. Located in the LEO constellation, it is about 425 million light-years away. The galaxy's center is a system of two supermassive black holes that orbit each other at a distance of 11,000 light-years. As for other similar objects, they lie over 500 million light-years away from the solar system. It's worth mentioning that when two black holes get closer together, they may not end up merging after spinning in their gravitational dance. It largely depends on the object's masses, their velocities and collision angle. In certain conditions, they may well drift apart, never to come closer again, and the only result of their interaction may be seen in altered trajectories. The process of merging black holes wants much deeper study at this point. There are a lot of blank spots in the mathematical description, it is a really complex mathematical model that may take years and years to work out. Observation of real mergers, meanwhile, is certainly greatly beneficial for scientific pursuits in this field. The thing that is crystal clear now is that a staggering amount of energy is released during the process, tantamount to billions of supernovae. It is mainly released in gravitational waves. All of these registered by now have traveled to the Earth for billions of years which means that their energy has largely dispersed on the way. What would happen to our planet if there was the source of a similar wave close by? Say right in our galaxy? According to some estimates, when black holes merge, the gas in the accretion disks is heated up and accelerates to reach extra high speeds. This causes emissions of electromagnetic waves, predominantly in the ultraviolet and X-ray bands, if their source were to find itself close enough to our Earth by space standards, the magnetosphere and the ozone layer of the planet would not be able to stand such a powerful assault of radiation. In this scenario, all life on the surface would almost certainly be doomed. Some organisms might have a chance to survive in the depths of the Earth's interior and oceans, but most of the biosphere would be likely to be eliminated. In addition to that, if this wave were strong enough, it might cause perturbations in the planet's mantle, which in its turn would lead to multiple ruptures in the crust, massive earthquakes and volcano eruptions. What about the black hole itself? Looking at its evolution after the merger, its shape is estimated to remain either irregular or elongated for a while. The black hole will pulsate and gradually the amplitude of the fluctuations will diminish, with the object eventually assuming a regular shape. By forming an accretion disk, it will continue to attract matter all round it and suck it in. There are more collisions and merges to come for the newly formed black hole, but in the end, all matter around it will be absorbed, and the growth of the black hole will first slow down and then cease completely, with nothing else to feed on. As proven by the outstanding American physicist Stephen Hawking, 
Along with two other prominent scientists, Starobinsky and Zeldovich from the USSR, any black hole constantly emits particles and slowly but surely loses its mass. This phenomenon is referred to as the Hawking radiation. It is on account of this radiation that the temperature of any black hole will depend on its mass. The lower the temperature, the heavier the hole. For example, one whose mass is six times that of the Sun will have a temperature in the region of 10 to the power of minus 8 Kelvin, which is close to absolute zero. This means that the heavier a black hole, the slower it takes it to evaporate. The life expectancy of supermassive black holes is estimated to be over 10 to the power of 100 years, the number also known as Google. While the temperature of a black hole is lower than that of the cosmic microwave background of the universe, that is 2.7 Kelvin, its mass cannot diminish. But the universe keeps expanding, and the CMB temperature gradually decreases, even though it is an extremely slow process. That is why, sooner or later, any black hole is to get in the state of thermodynamic equilibrium, when the amount of energy evaporated equals the amount of energy absorbed. Lighter objects will reach this state sooner than heavier ones. After that, the black hole will start losing its mass at an ever-increasing rate. Even though it will take trillions of years for the process of complete evaporation to run its course, eventually it will culminate in an enormous burst. The black hole will vanish, leaving behind a staggeringly powerful electromagnetic impulse that will gradually disperse in the expanses of the universe. The demise of the last black hole in the universe will herald the beginning of the Dark Era, the age of infinite emptiness and cold, the real ultimate fate of the universe. Dear friends, we put in a lot of effort to make our videos informative and interesting to watch. It really means a lot to us when you hit the like button. This way you support our channel and if you hit the bell button, you will always be in the loop and never miss new videos about all sorts of exciting things out there. And in the meantime, we'll be preparing something new for you. Let's keep in touch.